what is good my youtube friends if you've clicked on this video i'm guessing you're into dc legends of tomorrow and before i talk about arrow and deathstroke being in episode six star city 2046 firstly i want to talk about what happened in fail safe so the episode before white knight Dr. Stein, the Atom and Heatwave got captured and taken to the Russian Galout, the Russian prison which is indestructible, really hard to break into and it's during the Cold War so quite savage time, 1986, ironically when I was born, I don't know why I just said that. Anyway, so this episode is focused around breaking half, well, three members of the team and getting them back. So the episode started with Valentino pretending to be Cisco, but it, Dr. Stein worked out that it wasn't Cisco as the character appeared and acted nothing like Cisco. I didn't see this coming, I didn't know Cisco had a little cameo in uh, in Legends Tomorrow. That, that was pretty cool to see, although it was a very, very brief camo. So, what happened next is Captain Cold and the White Canary broke, well, broke into the prison Easter egg teaser. Captain Cold making out it's not easy it, it's easy to break in and out of prisons as he's done it many times before and he will be in a mini series of prison break with the with the rest of the crust cast. Dominic aka Heatwave will be in that as well, so that will be pretty cool when it happens. So Atom and Heatwave will be in tortured. Dr. Stein's seen this. And basically stopped it and said he'd give him the formula because he didn't want him to get tortured anymore. But during this, Valentino, aka the girl from the episode before, figured this out that Dr. Stein is in fact half of Firestorm. As she noticed, the weird coming on his wrist, on his forearm, that wasn't there before, so she worked out that. The other half of Firestorm wrote it and it appeared on his arm. So she tried to merge with Dr. Stein to become the Firestorm and ironically blew herself up. So she will not be seen again on the program. And then Savage and Rip Hunter had a bit of bit of chat before we blew up the building and they all got away safely. But it wasn't safely as one of the Time Lords got into a bit of a um, bit of a fight, not fight, like a battle with a ship. And then right at the end they ended up in 2046 because there was a malfunction with the wife, with the wave rider and that is how they ended up in 2046 it ended really interestingly as it ended with sarah aka the white canary thinking it was oliver queen but it was actually connor hawk playing the arrow as he didn't know that the, the dc legends of tomorrow team know who the actual arrow is and it looks like in 2046, a lot has changed. The city is ran by gangs and crooks. Looks like Oliver Queen is still alive, but he's underground. You see in the trailer, the old arrow layer, back cave, if you like. But I'm sure as that episode goes on, we'll actually see what's happening. Um, it looks like the guy impersonating the Green Arrow is, is trying to help the city, but it's pretty much destroyed. The, the uh, Palmer Tech building, Oliver Queen Industries building, has smoke 
on it. So I want a Felicity Smoke from Arrow, change the name to Felicity Smoke Industries or something like that. We will find this out very soon. And also, this is the epic, in my opinion. Deathstroke is back. Oliver Queen, the Green Arrow, and him look like they're going to have some sort of a fight in this episode, which is epic. Considering the Suicide Squad are trying, well, not trying, the Suicide Squad are being killed off as Amanda Walker was killed off in the previous episode of The Arrow, which is very strange because the more people that know about the Suicide Squad, the more people in theory will go watch the movie, but DC people thinking they're clever are trying to kill them all off, which is very strange. But it looks like this part, the Oliver Queen in the future, is one arm like is one arm arrow like the original one in the comic books that I'm led to believe. I don't know how true this is until we actually see the episode. So basically it looks like this episode is going to be savage because they're in 2046 and a lot has changed. Just looks like it's going to be a raw, kind of aggressive, lots of fighting, lots of action, lots of trying to figure out what's going on. They're obviously going to have to get Gideon to, well Gideon's a computer, pro, a computer pro that animated in the Wave Rider so they're going to have to fix the Wave Rider to get back on into the current timeline because they shouldn't be in the 2046 uh, and obviously Randall Savage will probably appear somewhere in this episode that's my thoughts on episode 5 and what I think will happen in episode 6 please like, subscribe and yes, this is a Star Labs top, and we're out.